it's seven days to Christmas. One more week. If you're like me, you've probably spent the last little while uh, thinking about Christmas and hoping for it and waiting for it. And you'll probably spend the next seven days doing the same. Waiting for that time when we can gather in the church and cast our minds back to that wonderful scene in the manger where Christ entered into our world. We will think about that time so long ago and we will celebrate. But is that where Christmas stays? Is that what it's about? Just gathering together and remembering something that occurred so long ago? Sometimes I wonder if we, if we lock Christmas into the past. If we spend too much time thinking about what happened way back then, and we don't actually think about what Christmas means for us today. The reading for this morning's service was out of Jeremiah chapter 23. Jeremiah speaks to the people of Israel. He tells them that God is coming, that the Lord will set up a righteous branch from the line of David, and he will come and he will reign the people, and he will judge by what is right in the land. Jeremiah says, in his days, Judah will be saved. Israel will live in safety. This is fabulous looking forward into the time that the Messiah, that the righteous one will enter into the world and save. Is that which Israel longed for? Is that which they hoped for? Particularly when they were uh, within the exile. But then our reading does something very, very interesting. Starting at verse 7, Jeremiah says to the people, So then the days are coming, declares the Lord. When people will no longer say, as surely as the Lord lives, who brought the Israelites out of Egypt. See, Israel often cast their mind back. They cast their memory back to that wonderful time where God led the people of Israel out of Israel, or out of Egypt, out of that exile, out of slavery. It was the defining moment of their life. It's the defining moment of their faith. And so they thought a lot about that. And it's good to think about that. It's good to know the history of our faith and what informs who we are as people of faith. What informs our understanding of who God is and who we are. Yeah, but Jeremiah says, when God comes to the people, it will not be like when we cast our minds back. It will not be as surely as the Lord lives who led the people out of Egypt. But they will say, as surely as the Lord lives, who brought the descendants of Israel up out of the land of the north and all the countries that he banished them, and he will bring them back to their own land. Jeremiah is saying that God will deal with the present situation of Israel. See, the day of the Lord, when God comes to redeem the people, will be a time when Israel is gathered in that wonderful relationship. They will, in the context of what God is doing in the midst of their lives, in the here and now, it will not be about casting back. It will not just be about remembrance, but it will be about entering into a life with God in the context of the everyday moment. So as we go forward into Christmas, in the, the next seven days... And even when we come here to church, when we cast our minds back to that fabulous event in the manger where Christ comes to us. Let's not our celebration, let's not our remembrance, let's not our prayers and our faith just be something about what happened a long time ago. But let's think and let's reflect about what it means for us here. Because the coming of God to us in Jesus is about how God is with us here. How we can say, as surely as the Lord lives, who deals with the situation in the here and now, who deals with where I am, and sometimes the muck and the mud that I get myself into, who deals with the people that I meet and the places that I go, who is involved in my life here, and in whose presence I am called to live within.